up all my inspirational tea sippers. This is Shantara and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I am on my way to, <laughs> you guessed it. I'm on my way to work this morning on a Monday, which is unusual for me, unusual for me because you guys know that I work 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. So I'm heading to work this morning for a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. shift. Picking up an extra shift so I can get some things done at the house. Because, baby. <laughs> but I just wanted to talk to you guys today about happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday, you guys. I pray that God shows his face for you guys this week. God showed out for me yesterday. He showed out for me yesterday. My God. And so I pray to God that you guys hold on to hope and faith. I don't just say it just to be saying it, but if you hold on to hope and faith, God is really, really, really moving in this season. It is really, really, really your time. He wants you to put all your trust, all your faith, all your energy into him and let him work it out. My God, yesterday was just a reminder of who God is and how he needs no say from man to bless you so i just wanted to say talk about something that was on my mind about you know what i'm saying just taking the first steps and trusting god you know what i'm saying and it's something as small as or as big as because of you know how long i've been on a weight loss journey on and off but i have been talking to god always have been but i have been talking to god about you know this addiction, this food addiction, like, Lord, have mercy. I need help. I'm tired of it. I'm, you know, feeling this in my body. I'm feeling this in my knees. And I'm just, you know, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable, low energy, this and that. So I had a little bit of money change last week. And I said, no matter what, I'm going to just go to the grocery store. I'm going to step out on faith and buy a blender. You know what I'm saying? So I can start having my smoothies and replacing my meals with smoothies and protein drinks. So when I get to this Walmart, they had the little personal blenders on sale for like $12.96. I didn't have enough to get the protein drinks, the protein powder and all that, but I did get the blender. So I bought that last week and I said, Lord, I'm going to just go ahead and step in faith and buy the blender, even though I didn't have nothing in the refrigerator to even use it. I had not even used the blender until yesterday night and I made um, a seafood boil and I had a smoothie on the side. I said, I'm going to just step out on faith, Father God, I'm going to buy it. And I know that you are going to provide and make a way for me to be able to use it. And, you know what I'm saying, have my smoothie. So I put it up. It's been up there for a week, y'all. And last night, yesterday, he showed out for me to be able to buy the fruits. And, you know what I'm saying, the things to go in it to be able to make it. And so what's on my mind this morning is God is not going to do all of the work. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to do all the work. We have to put forth in faith. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. So if you're believing God is going to do these things for you, if you believe God, you know, you're going to get a house. If you believe, you know, you're going to have a husband. If you believe, there's certain things that you have to do in faith as far as trusting God and moving forward in order for him to do his part. You know what I'm saying? because he's not going to do all the work. He's so perfect and he's so sovereign and he's such a perfect gentleman. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have you go and move in faith first. You know what I'm saying? If you're believing that you're supposed to have a different job, you're going to put forth the faith because faith without works is dead and you're going to start applying for jobs that you're unqualified for. You're going to start applying for the loans, the home loans. You're going to start going, you know, car shopping and looking at different cars and allowing God to do what he said do. And according to his will and his purpose, the blessings of the Lord are still yes and amen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just so thankful and so grateful to that. And I said, Lord, as long as you, as long as you provide for me to be able to be on a weight loss journey because food as you can see is not cheap 
so all the vegetables that I'm that I need all the you know what I'm saying the salmon all the berries and the fruits and all the different things not it's gonna cost so I said father God if you continue to provide for me I will continue to you know what I'm saying make the right choices and do better when it comes to eating like my God if you make a way for me I will put forth an even bigger foot you know what I mean and so <sighs> walk in faith you guys faith without works is dead god is doing it in this season he is really really doing it in this season he is blessing us you know what i'm saying he's keeping us he's strengthening us to continue to fight this good fight of faith because it is not easy it is not easy and it might be a, it's a personal blender too and so I'm, I want to buy a big one for the house, but for right now, the personal one is good good enough for me. So I didn't make a smoothie this morning, but I do have a smoothie, like a little personal smoothie on the side and a bowl of uh, watermelon and berries. So that's what I'm going to be eating today at work. I really want to get this weight off. My knees, my, uh-uh, crack, feeling a certain type of weight, what? Why? Why, girl? And I haven't been eating perfect, and I still been having my slip ups, and you know what I'm saying? Eating cookies at work when the people come and bring them for the. But it's getting better. It's getting better, and I still got my apple cider vinegar water. I, it's like my best friend. I take it with me everywhere I go. I drink it all day. I literally really drink it all day. So that's what I wanted to say this morning on a Monday. Step out on faith. God is waiting for us to make the moves. Start in faith so that he can do his part. And I'm so grateful. And I'm so thankful. God is, God is exactly who he say he is. He is not man. He cannot lie. And he is ready to bless us. So until the next time. Inspire. Be inspired. Until, well, hold on. Let's run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Loop, 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 loop. Rewind. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23. And until the next time. Inspired. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.